Gateway, you're fucking up. You're fucking up, Gateway. Now, once again, this wasn't an official statement from Gateway themselves, but it was from somebody who works with Maxon, and they claimed that, you know, Gateway was going to be having their 9.2 firmware for the 3DS exploit released in the next 48 hours from when I posted that video before. And if we look at the video before and the time that I posted it, it was posted at 4.44, wow, I posted that video at 4.44 p.m., January 6th, and right now, in my time currently, it's 8.18 p.m. January 8th. So 48 hours have passed, and we still have no 9.2 update from the Gateway 3DS. Once again, just clarifying, the 9.3 represents the firmware version that the new update is going to work with. 9.2 and 9.3, wait, no, no, not, not, not even 9.2 .9 and 9.1, excuse me. 9.3 and 9.4, it ain't gonna work with those. I apologize, I apologize. 9.2, 9.1, but, um. So far, we haven't seen anything from the Gateway website, and I don't know what's going on here. I mean, this is kind of strange. They said that there was going to be an update release, but so far, the same status from when they posted on the 18th of December is still there, which just talks about it, but doesn't actually deliver on anything. So it brings up the question, you know, did we all fool ourselves by this person who claimed to at least know some kind of insider information? Now, I know I gave you guys some inaccurate information in the last video, and I said something like, um, like Gateway, the company that um, made Gateway is the Maxon or something like that. I mean, I, I said some ignorant shit before. I got to apologize because sometimes I get my facts wrong. Sometimes I let the hype get ahead of me and I report inaccurately sometimes. But, you know, it wasn't too off the dot. The guy did get information from the inside of Gateway, at least. Or at least that's what everybody wanted to believe. But it appears that his information was off because um, as everybody's saying in the comments of my video, um, if we look at the newest ones first, I got a craygasm looking at the title. <laughs> you are a pirate and it's still not here. I even posted a little sad face to express my discontent with this. Um, um, Kayon says, what was that 48 hours bullshit? I don't know, dude, I really couldn't tell you. Subscribe to JTales, I did subscribe to JTales. I'm going to be hitting him up for an interview in Smash Brothers soon. So I mean, yeah, the, full, the joke's on you. Um, and fake information, it didn't happen. Dude, for, don't forget that Nintendo actually watches your videos. I know the Fed's watching. I don't give a damn. What's up? Um, 48 hours, right. Yeah, just innocent backups. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, if I look at the video, it was, you know, the person who said that it was going to happen in 48 hours, you know, I they, they claimed that they had insider information. They even went further into the post to explain themselves. But, I mean, so far, we ain't seeing much. Um, so, let me, you know what? Let's just go and check the um the forum post right now i know he must be getting roasted on there but i mean we'll see what's going on for ourselves and if there's any explanation for why it didn't come out yet but yeah this guy um gary opa there we go that was his name and he claimed that the update will be coming out in the next 48 hours from when i put like that was before i even posted my video so technically speaking the guy's a lot later than i'm telling you right now because that video was posted late i think it was posted almost 24 hours after he claimed 48 hours of the release so i don't know what's going on with this dude gary opa right now i mean there was even a point where he was talking about my video because you know i mean i guess the video got around people you know people want to see what's going on here with this whole thing all right, so we're back, and I managed to find Gary Opa's post about um, my video. I don't know. I don't even. That's not even information pertaining to the situation at hand. But I thought it was somewhat interesting. He actually mentioned me, and you know, considering how open he was in terms of talking about the Gateway 9.2 update, I'm surprised that nothing's happened yet. So as you guys can see here, um, Gary says um, the site got mentioned on YouTube by one of those crazy bat crazy YouTubers. <laughs> bat crazy. That that suits me perfectly. Seems everyone's turning in wondering when the shit's finally going to hit the fan or get released. Officially, I dropped that news hint post at 11.33 a.m. It's 11.34 a.m. where I am now. So there is sadly still another full 24 hours to go. But the release should happen hopefully much earlier than that. No more clues or hints yet. This post was yesterday at 10.35 a.m. So it's been 24 hours, Gary. I don't know what's going on. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, some of these posts were pretty funny as well, too. Um, some of them were talking shit about me. It was, it was fucking hilarious. Here we go. So what Gary says is, yeah, the video guy is totally clueless. Max Console has been the official forum for a lot of different products over the last decade because the people that build these products simply don't have the time or resources to run their own forums, which does make a lot of sense. And also want solid teams of mods to help out, which we can supply in exchange. At most, they get a banner space for an ad with a front page like Gateway has at the very top of the news section and a small monthly fee to help cover part of the bandwidth cost. The hype thread alone is getting through 13 gigabytes of data per day now, which is staggering. So, I mean, 
once again, I'll correct myself. I was inaccurate in terms of my information reporting about the Max console, you know, running Gateway. They don't. Apparently, it's more of like a hosting website where they kind of have a hub for them to talk about their product, something like that, around those lines. I hope I'm not too off. Um, but yeah, I, I was totally clueless. I mean, at the end of the day here, I don't really pride myself on being an information hub that's totally accurate as much as I provide my, as much as I see myself as just being another fan, another excited person to get their hands on this update who's basically making videos about it. I mean, hey, either way, we're not really seeing, uh, oh, here's another great comment. <laughs> Gosh, that video was terrible, Noob Central. Hey, I get it. The guy wants to get in and get out with the news. Why not run an old school search engine quer um, query like Gateway 3DS Forum Official and skip all the middlemen? Granted, this thread has gone on for longer, gone on far longer with almost no meaningful context except that Gary Opa's two most contributing posts. Jeez, what the fuck are we talking about in this thread anyway? It'll be released when it's released. As far as shady backup hardware producers that have a couple minor strikes against them, more than a few major marks for them, I trust Gateway. And it's true, Gateway's been very consistent with their updates. I mean, as long as you didn't go past 4.2 at one point. And I mean, even getting the update going for 7.0, at some point. It, it was good. You know, Gateways had great support and I didn't realize that they were um, doing updates that consistently. I got a lot of stuff to balance on my own end. But yeah, this thread seems like it's where everyone's discussing the Gateway news and uh, it doesn't really seem as if anything's happening yet so far. I'm just going to go to the last page and see if there was any kind of response from anybody. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm not sure when Gary posted, but uh, let's see. Alright, so from the last post that Gary made, it doesn't seem as if there's any new information regarding the follow-up in terms of the 9.2 update being released. So all we can do basically is sit on our hands. I mean, I guess I guess some people are a little bit frustrated with the situation, considering that we did sort of have a date and then things aren't really working out that way. All I can say is be patient. Like the other post said, you know, it will come out eventually. There's no need to be in a huff and a tizzy about it. Uh, I guess Gary's information wasn't exactly 100% accurate clearly. I mean, that's just stating facts, but I mean, we'll see what happens in the next 24 hours. Hopefully by then we'll all have this update that we can stop this hype train because, you know, this bitch has had multiple stops. GBA temp, now max console. It's crazy. But either way, guys, so um, what are you going to be doing to preoccupy, uh, preoccupy yourselves with the wait for the update? Uh, right now, I'm just going to be making videos, you know, doing what I do normally. But uh, let me know what you guys are going to be doing as well. And um, let me know your opinions on this whole thing with Gary Opa and this 48-hour inaccuracy information. We, we, I, I definitely want to get a discussion going on this. I'll talk to you in the next video, though. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.